Welcome back to the game where I demonstrate my engineering ignorance. It's Poly Bridge 3. Last time we played, we got through the first three levels of the Minor Mountains world. We're moving on to Quantum Leap now in search of Scott Bakula. I'm ready to go now. The level four, Quantum Leap. Turn off Snap to Grid to make precise adjustments to your bridge. So this one here, they're calling it a bridge, but really we need to make a ramp to try to jump this uh, this car all the way across. This looks like a little DeLorean or something over here. Rather than Quantum Leap, it's a little more back to the future. Right, we only have a few things to build with, so they give us five road pieces, two steel, and then we have an unlimited amount of wood up to our budget. We have $16,000 to spend on this thing in order to build a ramp that's gonna get us from uh, point A to, well to, well, to point A, I guess. I'm sure this is going to take a little bit of tweaking to get this all refined. We'll see how that goes. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be steep enough. We might we might want to make this a bit more of a steeper angle. That's a pretty far jump for this car to make, and I don't really know how fast it goes. $4,145. Will this thing even hold up to that? Nope. <clears throat> yep, we didn't make it. All right, I don't know if this will hold. I have a really, really streamlined setup here. <laughs> Very limited parts. $4,110. Oh, it held. Oh, so close. We can maybe just tilt it up just the tiniest little bit. Oh, it's so close to getting over. Like, if I could just get those back wheels to grip, that would be all right. There we go. Got it. $4,111. That gets us into second place. Wow. The next guy got it for $3,485. I don't know how I would go about shaving another $700 off this build. All right, level five, Perched Path. We have $20,000 budget on this one. No anchors in the middle. Try resting your bridge on the island. Uh, we have this really heavy little transport truck we have to bring across here this time. How heavy is this thing? 8 PG. $3,011 is already spent on our behalf to put a little support structure in the middle of this uh, chasm we have to cross. I mean, we could just build a straight bridge across here. I'm sure that would work. I'm sure this will hold up. It's definitely overbuilt right now. $14,842 out of our $20,000 budget. That's uh, that's not going to cut it. All right, so obviously having a structure built in the center of this thing is just going to be too expensive. So we need to get rid of that. Uh, and we're going to try to leverage the center of this pathway here. So we're going to lean down onto here. Can I get that any farther out? I think those roads are already fully extended. So that's going to fall off the end, I think. I don't think it's going to hit that center island piece. Yeah, <laughs> nope, definitely needs to be longer. Let's see if that holds. Six thousand and six dollars to cross the one side. <laughs> nope. Okay, if I put a little support down here by the wall, that gives us enough structure to get across. Obviously, eh, we need to finish the other side yet. I'm thinking if we just copy this bridge to the other side, maybe that'll work. Flip that over and stick it right there. Twelve thousand nine hundred and seventy bucks. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Well, if I connect the roadway in between here, that's 14,108. Does that even work? Oh, look at it turn around. I think they're already. Yeah, I guess this across, but still too expensive. All right, I created a little floating piece of floor that just sits on this island piece in the middle so that the truck can push it and give it the boost it needs to get up on the other side without hitting the bridge. Uh, still gotta work on that structure, though. Oh, it's so close. All right, we got to cross. $11,908. It still has me just in seventh. I, like, I got to shave another, well, $10,500. I got to shave $1,400 to get even one space lower. Is another $1,400 less than what I'm doing right now. I don't know how people accomplish that. I played around this for this with it for a while. I even tried, like, dropping the truck in the center and such, but that didn't even come close to working. So... I don't know how they got through that, but I'm going to take seventh on this one and just move on to the next level. Level six, cliff braces. Oh, we have a car on both sides this time. Try bracing your bridge against the cliff edge. So we have car A1 over here has to go somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, they're just getting to the center. And this is an example of showing how to do the braces. That's interesting. I mean, we could obviously go very expensive and just solve this thing right away. This, this should theoretically be strong enough. Yeah, see, oh, both cars at the same time. So driving towards the center. Thirteen thousand seven thirty-five. It's under budget, but we had like almost no stress, and we in like thirty-eighth place. That's no good. So cost savings. Well, first of all, we can get rid of some of this steel. And why some of it? I mean all of it. Uh, we also don't necessarily need this thing to go all the way to the center. We can make the car sort of drop a little bit to hit that centerpiece, so that can make the roads just a little bit shorter. Maybe. I go with the support here. Is that going to be strong? Oh, that's probably not strong enough. Oh, it's plenty strong enough, actually. All right, so we can copy that same bridge. 
flip it to the other side to see how it works. So the bridge should work identically on both sides. Wow, that got me to fifth already. One, oh, one ahead of Real Civil Engineer and one behind Dre. We don't need anywhere near as much road as I'm using here. I'm gonna go to the point where it's basically just about to fall in the water and then, and then pull it back a bit, you know? Okay, two tiny little bridges, 64, 43. That gets me in third. I'd have to shave another $900 off to beat bacon pancakes. Mmm, pancakes. Well, I've refined this one down about as far as I think I'm going to be able to. We're at uh, $5,891. I think that's as cheap as we're going to get. At least as far as I can see. We just barely squeak up there with the car on the right. It's funny, the bridges were the same on both sides, but the cars acted slightly differently. So 5,891 gets us into second place. Uh, the leader, Bacon Pancakes, was at 5,529. So he's more than $300 cheaper than I am. And I have no idea where he managed to scrape out that much savings. The next level was actually a hydraulics tutorial. So now we're working on one called On Your Own. Use hydraulics to create a drawbridge. So we gotta get this little red car over here past this uh, canal that's gonna have a ship coming down. Now there's already a bridge built on one side and I guess they're suggesting we could just copy the exact same thing on the other side. So if I grab all this and just copy and flip it, that would give us the solution we need pretty much right away. 15,124 and we can see how that works. Um, it's neat that they give us a little, like a, an example on the one side that we can copy over. So it's, this is an easy win. This right side doesn't cost me anything so I can leave it alone. But the one on the left, uh, we're gonna try to do a little bit of refinement on, I guess, and see if we can, I don't know, save some money over there somehow. So it looks like the, the, uh, the boat is gonna go right by there. I don't really need a split bridge there so much. What if we only moved one half of the, of the bridge and then we could just get rid of this piston altogether and, uh, throw some, like, support right here. Can I drop a car on that side and not have it all smashed to pieces? <laughs> that would be interesting. Though, serious question, is the easiest way to do this to not actually use pistons at all? Can we just build a bridge that the car drives up and jumps off the end of and then lands on the other bridge? And then we don't have to move it at all? Obviously not practical in any way. I have a feeling this fall is just gonna smash straight through the road, but... Ooh, that's cutting it close. <laughs> it doesn't get much closer, but it doesn't hit. All right, here goes our car. If this doesn't break on this side, it's... Oh, oh, that's so slow. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> poor, this poor car, there's no way it's gonna cross that. Even if it had gotten up there, there's no way it's getting over. Okay, so, clearly not gonna work. I do like the idea of keeping the one side stationary so I don't have to move it. Um, let's go ahead and we'll draw the roadway across. Yeah, this is a lot of weight for this to lift on the left-hand side. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Oh, actually, it worked fine. That should be plenty high enough for the boat to get through, I would think. Does it hold? Oh, yeah. Easy. 11,963, max stress 4874. Wow, that got me all the way to third already. That's gotta be because people were using multiple pistons. Seven thousand three hundred three. I'm still eight hundred and three dollars over second place. How am I gonna shave eight hundred and three dollars off of this? <laughs> well, that doesn't work. The hydraulics are more expensive depending on the size of what you're using. So, I mean, theoretically, it could save a little bit of cost by changing the length of what I need. So what if I, if I got rid of this and I put like a steel beam here instead, well, get rid of the triangulation. If I put a steel beam here for part of it, and then the piston from there to the bridge, I don't know if that'll hold or not, but that's 10,523. Ooh, is that gonna be enough to clear the, oh, that's not gonna clear the boat. <laughs> okay, we can make that a little bit, a little bit different size. I needed to just have just enough clearance for the boat to get by. Like that. I could actually make that even just a little bit, a little bit shorter. Lots of stability too. 10,605. That jumps me into the same spot. <laughs> $105 more I gotta save. 
Oh, that can't really get any closer without the boat hitting it. Now, is this strong enough to hold? Yes. $10,348. That pops me easily into second place. Now, Bacon Pancakes finished this one out with 7872 I can't fathom how they would have got it that cheap, unless they could manage to do this without using pistons at all. Level 8, don't copy me. Some pre-built materials can be removed and or altered. Using the clear button uh, removes your bridge and restores pre-built materials. Okay, so budget, 50,000 on this one. We got two submarines that I have to go through. So two submarines, they have two airplanes here that are way up high for some reason. I wonder if that's just supposed to stop you from getting creative. Uh, and then we have a, a limo that's uh, 7 PG. But uh, they made one little lip bridge here to, to lift out of the way from the submarine on this side. They've already spent 18,000 on it though. That feels like a lot to me. We go across that way. It's really only this little centerpiece that needs to come apart. Actually, we'll make it separate right here, and then we'll try to lever it from this side. Yeah, I have a feeling the bridge is going to break, but I'm going to try and just pick up the one half of it. <laughs> yeah, that worked great. Obviously, we could just copy what they did on the other side, but they did say specifically, don't copy me. Actually, I'm sure that this is going to be another scenario where the cheapest solution is to not use the lift bridge pieces at all. And instead, just go ahead and build like an arch bridge that's just enough to clear the sub. Does that work? I don't know if the car will make it over. Oh, it's definitely strong enough. Alright, 31,088. Max stress was not anywhere near, so I have quite a bit of cost savings. That already got me in sixth place just with that first attempt. Uh, we can do the same thing over here, so I can delete all this and save all that money. Uh, if I try to do the same thing on this side, I think it's going to be too steep for the, the car to make it over, but we'll try first before we try to get crazy with this. I have a feeling that's too steep for the car to go over, but we'll find out. It's stuck! <laughs> it got the bumper stuck! There we go, it's got traction, and now the back bumper is stuck. Okay, so it's definitely too steep. We do have a second anchor point here. I could try going all the way to the second one. That would let me lower the angle of the bridge quite a bit. It's still a little too steep at the beginning, but as long as I can get the wheels up there. There we go. Victory, 24,640. Less than half the budget. That only gets me into fourth, though. Where, who's at the top of the list here? Conquer to get it, 19,000. So I gotta shave about 5,000 off. That is a significant amount to shave off. <laughs> uh. Don't know that I can do that just by making adjustments here. There we go. Boom! 22,665. So I shaved a couple thousand off. Uh, that got me into third. I'd have to get it down another couple thousand just to get into second. Um, I might be able to drop the car into this... into this middle section, but I don't know that that's gonna work. Um, I could save a little bit of money by adjusting the size of these, but again... My flexibility here is going to be relatively limited in terms of how much I can save. That was only a little bit. That's not going to get me anywhere near the amount of money I need to save, and it may not even hold. Well, hit 22,365. Uh, that's not enough to get me into second place even this time, but I think that's about the most I'm going to be able to clip out of this without doing something crazy different. I've already spent a bunch of time experimenting. I'm going to move on to tackle the next level. We're going offside for level 9, $34,000 budget. Hydraulics can only change their length by up to plus or minus 50% of their starting size. All right, so another hydraulic level. So we got a little Jeep is going to go, and then the hydraulics are going to go, and then a Viking ship, I guess this is, goes through, and then the hydraulics again. Oh, and actually, this is the first time the vehicle turns around and comes back the other way. So we have to send it across, and then it has to make it all the way back. So I guess we're going to need an actual bridge for this one. All right, so we have uh, unlimited roads. We only have four hydraulics available and four steel. I still feel an awful lot like the best way to solve these things with the hydraulics is usually not to use hydraulics. But I don't know what kind of uh, I don't know what kind of steepness this this jeep can handle. But we'll try and make a just an arch bridge initially. <laughs> we'll see if this actually holds up. Uh, a little bit of wooden framework. 
just to make a simple arch over top of this and we'll see if uh see if the jeep can actually drive up this thing i don't know i think that's a definite no all right definitely too steep um we could try and maybe adjust the angle a little bit and see if it will make the starting i think maybe once it gets moving it might be capable of, of climbing up here no it's tipping back too far i can try to get this as close as possible to where the boat's gonna go through oh there we go Oh, salt. I don't know if this will be end up being the cheapest solution, but when you're not using the the pistons, it's got to be cheap. Look how tight that is. Perfect. We did it. Who we're in third. Look at that. 11,624, and the number one person is Uncivil Architect. Oh no, as opposed to Real Civil Engineer. <laughs> We've got the Uncivil Architect. Uh, we only really need to shave off less than $100. I think that's actually doable. It'd be easy enough just to adjust the height of some of these things and shave off a few bucks. Should still hold. Okay, that was definitely one of the easier levels. It took no piston use at all. So that's first place, 10,851. Now again, there's not that many people playing right now, so the fact that I'm in first, not really that big a deal, but you know, $700 cheaper. I'll take the wins wherever I can get them, frankly.